times we go through a lot of things at home, we go through things in our families, uh, with our friends, low self-esteem, no confidence, you know, so many different things. And people are like, um, you know, I was ready to kill myself. And um, after you sang your song, it really blessed me. And I broke down into tears and I was really encouraged to go on. And that let me know in my heart, like, wow, if you're, you're doing what you wanted to do as far as, like, your heart's desire, and that's just simply encourage people. So that was such a blessing. Then, so after college, I mean, so after Sunday best, it was like, you know, like, wow, everybody's like, so are you going to go for labels? Are you going to get a deal now? You know, you got all this exposure. And to me, I felt like I felt like my conscience or the Holy Spirit saying to me, I let you have a taste of Stardom, in a sense. Now finish what you started. So instead of running to go get my, you know, go get my record deals and all that other stuff like I had been trying to do all the other years, I went back and I finished my degree. And it took me two more years to finish those mistakes and to finish my degree. So this past May, I finally finished. And it was such a fulfilling experience to actually get a degree, like to actually, you know, have something in my hand, like I earned this. And nobody can ever take that away. And so um, I just believed that the doors would still be open for me after I finished. And literally, as soon as I graduated, I started singing back and forth with Sean Mitchell. Um, I started traveling. I came here. Um, I, um, I sing with um, Byron Cage. Um, he just featured me on his uh, new CD. Um, his new CD comes out this year. So we did a duet together. And all of these people, um, I actually work at a church. And um, Byron Cage, me, Ricky Dillard, and Ty Triple were all on staff together. And so I get to sit under my mentors and people that I looked up to. Like, I remember when I was 15, watching Ricky direct choirs, like, oh my God. Or watching Byron singing the presence of the Lord is here. Or watching Ty jump across the stage and do all that other stuff. And you don't think you actually sit with them and you actually, like, talk to them. And they believe in you and they pour into you. So, like, I am literally living my dream. And I actually teach high school now, too, right? Um, I'm a high school music teacher. That's something I never thought that I would, you know, I always, I dream of being a doctor. Dr. Clifford Ross III just sounds good, right? And so um, <laughs> I, always, I dream to be a, um, a college professor of music. Um, and so um, the Lord opened the door, so I actually I teach high school music now to high school students. And um, it was a high school that didn't, could you imagine a high school that does not have any music at all? They don't have any arts at all. No acting, no singing, no nothing. Just math, English, and the rest of those subjects. <laughs> And so I, when I went in for the interview, like, I was just like, y'all don't have no music? Like, y'all don't have no arts? Like, I couldn't even imagine, like, music was where I found my safety in high school. You know, like, you go to choir class, and you can sing, and, you know, you can, you know, you can go in off of those songs, you know, do whatever the songs are, or, you know, play your instrument. I was in the band, too. I played the uh, euphonium, the baritone. You ever played it? What? Played baritone. It's a, uh, it's a brass instrument. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't know about that. It's a great sound. Um, so anyway, um, I was convicted to teach. And um, it's been fulfilling because I realized that I love to teach. Um, I teach people how to sing. I love to sing. It is like my heart's desire. And it's also my heart's desire to show people how to sing. And um, it's been great. And um, I got invited to come back here. And so I've been here since, um, when did I get <laughs> I got here Friday and I don't leave until Thursday and like I just like every time I like wake up like it's such y'all have such a beautiful island here like I look out my window and I just see the waves and see the little blue water and the trees <laughs> you know it's like in DC like when I parked my car here it was 22 degrees and so I'm sitting there like like when the bus you know cold and then like once so I landed I started taking stuff off because I started sweating. And I see people walking around with stars and hats on. And so I'm like, what is it? Is it me? Like, am I, you know, but this is a winner here. Like, I wish I could have a winner like this um, back in D.C. Like, I slip and fall on ice and everything. Do we even have, y'all never have ice, right? Nothing. Right. Bless me. Y'all don't even know. Um, <laughs> so um, I just um, I just wanted to share with y'all. I want to answer questions or anything like that um, that I can have. Does anybody have any questions? Can I sing? Right now. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. Um, Chest, lift up. Do the Beyonce. 